This is Poolside Chat, where every week we answer your questions on how to fix and maintain your swimming pool. Poolside Chat is presented by EnyoPools.com, helping pool owners find the right parts since 2001. Now here's your host, Matt and Rob. Hello and welcome back to another amazing episode of Poolside Chat presented by InyoPools.com. I'm Rob, also known as Paul Simon. Uh, to my right, Art Garfunkel, a.k.a. Matt. Bring in the funkle, bring in the noise. There's bringing the noise, bring in the funk. By the way, I always kind of thought of me being the George Michael and you're the Andrew Ridgely. Mm-hmm. Too obscure. Phil Collins, Peter Gabriel. Slash hammer. <laughs> Boom. All right. Nailed it. Nailed right, it. Let's, let's do this. Let's go. First question. Looks like we got a question from Jim. Um, it's actually a multimedia type question. We got a video. Jim got fancy. Oh, super fancy. Fancy and schmancy. Mm-hmm. Um, let's read the question first. Uh, I installed our motor yesterday, the UST1102. He got it from us. Uh, it seems to be working, uh, but has this clicking sound and can never completely fill the skimmer basket in front of the motor. What is the problem? Um, we will go to the videotape. Roll tape. Rob, do you have an answer? I sure do. Jim, that uh, clicking sound is coming from the back of your motor. It's the governor opening and closing. I was um, a mayor once. You're a mayor? That's a governor joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but now, a couple of uh, reasons why this could be happening. Um, the first would be the voltage. The, the motors come set on 230. The most of the motors come set on 230. And when you apply 115 voltage to it, uh, it doesn't give it enough power, so it might just start to turn on, but it's just clicking. It doesn't fully uh, kick in. Um, another reason why you could hear clicking is if uh, your old motor was a full-rated motor and your newer motor is an uprated motor, which means that the, the full-rated motor has a higher service factor. It's stronger. So when you put an uprated, a weaker motor on there, it's not strong enough to spin the impeller for a full-rated system. Uh, so that could also cause the clicking. So basically, like the governor is like a centrifugal switch. So if it's not fast enough to spin, it can't fully it doesn't get open the, up all the way. Okay, so that's kind of what it uh, what it is. I I like to dumb it down for me, just because yeah. uh, you know he's he's the he's the super tech, and uh, AKA Andrew Ridgely, the 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 brain behind the operation, and I'm the face. So it's nothing nothing you can do about that. But uh, thank you for the answer, yeah. and uh, we actually got some help. Uh, from the manufacturer on that, and uh, can we say his name? He'd prefer not to be. Oh. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's Denny. <laughs> Denny from uh, Century Motors. Oh, I Help didn't us out on that one. He could be undercover. He could be a DA agent. I didn't know. I didn't want to say his name. But Denny's always uh, really, really uh, willing to help out. Super smart, and um, your best friend, right? Uh, I believe cards? so. Yeah. yeah. Right. But back to uh, back to this. We actually did find out what the problem was with. Uh, Jim's motor. He responded back and let us know that it was the voltage. So he had he did have 115 voltage. So he had to switch the motor uh, to 115 voltage. There's a little switch on the back that you change, like a switch or uh, usually a jumper like a switch dial. or a knob. It's yeah. uh, it all depends on which motor you get. But it, luckily, it was a pretty easy switch. He didn't run it for too long, so we didn't have to get a brand new capacitor or, or something like that. But um, if you have any questions like this, are you. It, it really helped out that Jim was able to provide us a video. So if you have any questions, um, you can always uh, email us um, what your motor is sounding like. Usually it's bearings or something like this um, going wrong. Or you can give us a call at 877-372-6038. Um, and you can just, we can just talk it out. Oh yeah, you know? I'd love to. Just talk it out. Just talk I love it out. talking motors. Yeah. All day, every day. <laughs> motors, V8s, whatever. <laughs> but uh, thank you for uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, thank you, Jim, for the question and the video. Um, Bye. Bye. Andrew Ridgely. Bye.